Okay, so today we're going to be learning about using the binary host with Gentoo, which is basically a fast way to get um, large packages to be installed on the system without having to wait for them to be compiled. Trade off obviously is you don't get the optimizations or as many use flag choices as you might like, but it's a fast way to get things like um, WebKit, GTX, and stuff like that on your system fast. So it can be rather useful. What we need to do first is edit the um, the uh, config file, so that's slash etc. Voltage bin repos dot config bin host config. If you don't have this one, you can just create it. Create it. Right. So we're now going to go and get a mirror from the. Uh, download sources so we're going to do that now okay so the one that we found we're going to highlight that and then copy and paste it by just pressing the middle click on there which adds that for us let's save the change next we need to run the git toto program if it's not installed you can just emerge that by using that package name and emerge in front of it and this sets up the uh, gpg key okay that's done now we need to turn on that um key sign in for voyage so it knows what to do so we do slash etc Voltage make config. Okay, and we need to add a new features line. So it's features equals, then you use this one here. Basically, that just tells you to use any features that are already set. And then bin package request signature. Yeah, that will work for us. This will be linked on the, uh, the wiki page as well if you want to read it. Okay, now. We can update world and tell it to use our packages, our new bin host, by using the hyphen hyphen git bin package. And that will then tell Forge that we want to use the bin host wherever possible. So if we do an update to um, the world, we do VA, little U, uppercase D, uppercase U, at world. Okay. Now we can see here that some of these ones here, which have a pinky purpley colour, these ones are the ones that match the uh, official bin host, so they're going to get pulled in for us, so we don't need to compile them. Any ones that are green is telling us that don't match, so we need to compile them ourselves. So basically, it gives you the choice to have a customizable system and still put in the binaries to save time where possible. So if we hit enter, we are going to see now that these install. Okay, and that's it. Our system's now update nice and fast. Let's find a mirror that's close to us. There. We go to wwwgen dot org forward slash downloads forward slash mirrors oh. like so we can see it is a selection of countries so obviously you can tell by my accent it will be uk for me i like the bike mark host so we just use a top one there https obviously you've got all the other types if you can't support it or anything like that we click we go to release and the architecture we're using which is amd64 in most cases and then you'll see the binary package one you most likely want 17.1 you'll know if you don't and finally x864 x8664 even and we're going to get this here which we're going to highlight and i'll show you how to copy and paste that in a second okay so you're going to ask what if I only want to install just one package? Well, in this case, using the git pack bin package only is going to be a good one. 
So if we did emerge and hyphen hyphen bit in edge only, and then the program we wanted would be a we'll just go for nano. As you can see, it's only putting up this one here for us. We just press yes, and it would go. And then we just carry on using our system as normal afterwards. And now the main time this is probably going to be used is stuff like um, Qt Web Browser or the WebKit GPK. Massive packages take forever to install. You could also use it for things like um, LLVM, things like that. Let's do that one now. And there we go. So you can see on this one, we're completely installed in LLVM. We'd have to do Clang as well, just for obviously to get it working. But we could have this system up and running in a second. And let's, let's add Clang now to it actually. But in real time, we're going to see just how fast this installs. There we go, a full LLVM tool chip, tool chain, ready to go, ready to use in what, under a minute? Pretty good. Obviously this is just a, a basic overview of what this can do and I'll help you. In the description I'll link in the uh, binary package quick start page and that's just got a few more of the advanced commands you can use just to make this a little bit better for your Gen 2 life. Alright, as always I'll catch you on the next one.